Hi everybody, my name is Lynn. Tracy's asked me if I could make a little video just to show you how I put her fantastic stamps onto candles. It's quite easy to do. It does take a little bit of practice. Um, I'm not saying my way is the right way. This is just the way I found that gives me consistently good results. So I'll get on and show you how I do it. So you just need a piece of tissue paper. It's got to be white and the type you just buy in news agents that you would normally wrap a parcel in. It has a dull side and it has a shiny side and you need that shiny side facing up. So choose your stamp, link her up. I'm using the first of fine black onyx Lots of gentle taps all over, make sure she's good and inked up. Move that bit. Just pop her down, give a really good press. Just let her sit there just so you can transfer all that ink onto your tissue paper. Lift her off. And have a look at her. And if there's any bits that have missed, you can just go over with a little brush and just move the VersaFine about while it's still wet. happy with that. Now this next bit really cannot be rushed. Because VersaFine is an oil based paint it does take long uh, paint sorry um, ink it does take longer to dry and with it being on a shiny surface it does take a bit longer. Now you can speed this up with a heat gun I tend not to because what I found is where the ink is as you heat it it starts to it starts to crinkle then when you put it on your candle and heat it again it just doesn't give a very nice effect so what I do is I stamp several of them out by the time I've done the last one the first one is dry so I'll just pop her down I've got one here I stamped this about half an hour ago so she should be nice and dry so just putting it on a piece of, of um, copy paper, just cut rounder. It's much easier to cut on the paper than trying to cut the tissue on itself because it's so flimsy. I just cut, I'm just going to cut that off and get it out of the way. So just cut. I try and do curved edges so there aren't any sharp corners. So just go round her. You don't have to go too close. You can if you want. Try and fussy cut her. I don't find it necessary. If you want to, you can cut into her wings, behind her legs, behind her head, but again, I don't. I find that that will work quite nicely. So get your candle and I just like to go over it because some candles you probably can't see but there's a little bubble there so we don't want that on the front and we certainly don't want this image going on top of that. So find the side that you're happy with. No, nope, that's got a bump as well. That's okay. So pop your fairy on. Just move her about. You'll find that the tissue does just cling nicely to the uh, to the wax. So get her 
where you want her. Then you need a piece of wax paper. I use this one, the Reynolds Cut Right wax paper. Your piece of wax paper needs to be the length of your candle. Don't just cut a piece that's going to cover your image because while you're heating the image, the rest of your candle isn't protected and you can overheat it. So place it over, pull it nice and taut. You need it really, really tight and crease free. Pull it tight and I use some pressure sensitive masking tape just to hold it. This bit eliminates you're getting burnt, burnt fingers by holding it. There you go. Make sure you've got no creases. Oops, it needs to be as tight as you possibly can, can get it. Okay, now before I put my heat gun on, what I tend to do is, I tend to start here and I tend to work all the way around the edge of the tissue paper, work my way back up, and then I, came, I come down the middle. What I also do is, I don't keep the heat directly over. If I feel it's getting too hot, I just move my heat gun away and come back in. It is wax, so at the end of the day, it will melt and it will melt really quickly. So you just need to very, very gently work your way along and you'll just see the tissue paper sink into the wax and it will go glossy. As soon as it goes glossy, you need to move your gun and keep moving it. So I'll put my gun on, get it nice and hot. And then just bring in the heat in, not too close, just gently. No rush, you can see, there we go, she's starting to go now. Just work your way along that edge. Just take your time, no rush. Just very gently keep your gun moving along. Coming up the other side now. When I get to the top, I try and angle it this way so the heat doesn't go down the wax paper. And then down the centre, just to make sure it's all sunk in. You can't see that outline anymore. If you can, just bring your gun back in. Just let it cool for a second or two. And then just very, very gently just peel back your wax paper. And there she is. So just have a check over, make sure you're happy. You're always going to see a slight outline. Um, at the end of the day, it is a it is a transfer, but you can hide it quite well. And if there's any bits you're not happy with, just heat without the wax paper, but don't go as close because you've not got that protection anymore. There we go. Also, don't be tempted to put your piece of wax paper back over. 
all this wax that has come through will then transfer onto your candle once it's reheated. So once you've used this, throw it away. Don't be tempted to use it again. You can use a little bit and place it over and reheat if necessary, but you shouldn't really, really need to. And there she is. If you wanted to say colour her wings, if you you know wanted to use markers or metallics or glittery pens or anything, do it before you put it on the candle. So all your colouring needs to do before you put her on. And then to finish her off, you, you can put glue on and then sprinkle glitter over. You can do whatever you want. I find that the stickles does quite a good job and it just gives that lovely flash of glitter just a little tiny bit of iridescence here and here and there it catches the light and it looks really pretty so all I do is to keep the pressure on and just dab all over the wings as little or as much as you want to just turn around keep keep her moving and just dot have a look make sure you're happy with that just a bit more down here much there there we go hopefully you can see that catching the light and there you have it hope you've enjoyed that and I hope you'll have a go yourselves because I do think they look absolutely beautiful on the candles okay thanks for watching bye bye